it. I'm going to keep it together. Jonathan, you're my best friend. I'm not doing so well. <laughs> um. Before I met you, in true consultant fashion, I wrote down a list of qualities that are important to me and a partner. And I went back to read these, so I have a list of three. Number one, you're close to your family. I fell in love and I saw how much you love and care for your family and friends and your commitment to them. Number two, you're passionate. You're passionate about your hobbies, friends, family, work, and I love that you put your heart into everything that you do. Number three, you're kind, caring, and compassionate. You see the best in others. I love that you bring out the best in me and how you care for Leela. She had to make it in there. I promised to remind you that you deserve the love that you give. I promise to express my love and gratitude and what you mean for me often. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. I would join with you in this journey as your wife with an open heart and will make even the smallest of our accomplishments into an exciting part of our lives together. I will be with you through it all. I love you, Jonathan, and we're in this together. Natalie, you are my reason for being a better man. You are sweet and kind in a way that is inspiring. What you see is what you get with you in the most beautiful sense. There is no pretense or posture. You are innocent but not naive. You are emotionally fearless in that sense, in a way that scares and inspires me. I wish I were brave enough to live like that. I promise that I will always support you. I will always be proud of you because I know you will always give everything your all. Together, we are ready to take on the world. We will continue to build a home and a family as beautiful and as loving as the ones that our parents have built for us. We will share our successes and our failures and admit when we make mistakes, however hard that might be. Most of all, I promise to walk beside you through whatever life may bring. So beautiful. Oh, you look so good. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> We're good. You're good. good. When you love someone, you do not love them all the time in exactly the same way. That is impossible. Yet that is what most of us expect. We forget the ebb and flow of life and of love and of relationships. We insist on permanence, on duration, on continuity. But in love, as in life, the only stability is in change, in growth, and in freedom. Therefore, what you promise today must be renewed and reaffirmed tomorrow and all the tomorrows to come. You, Natalie, promise to love Jonathan and respect him, to share your life and your dreams, to build with him a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth. I do. And do you, Jonathan, do you promise to be a companion to Natalie in all of her successes and failures, her happiness and sadness, to always give to her your unwavering support, and to, above all else, the freedom to be herself? I do. It is my joyful responsibility to officially acknowledge your union as partners. You may now seal your marriage with a kiss.
So, all right, so when I started thinking about this speech, I think about the times of me being younger and all those seminal moments, it was always John. John was still right next to me. And when I think about going forward in life, when I think about all that which is to come, I know it's still going to be John right next to me. And now, Natalie, you're the only person here who's going to get the same feeling. You're going to have that guy right next to you. 20 years from now, you're going to look back and you're going to go, yeah, it's still handsome. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to raise a glass. I'd like to toast two of the loveliest people I've ever met. I couldn't be happier to be here right now. I couldn't be happier to be a part of this. So, with that, I love you guys. This has been beautiful. Congratulations. Over the course of our adventures, Natalie has become one of my closest and truest friends. Natalie's life was full and fun before she met John but he has made her happier than I've ever seen her. Natalie and Jonathan, I wish you a lifetime of love and happiness. Natalie, uh, on, my, on behalf of mom and myself, we're very proud of you. We're very proud of uh, the young lady that you were, the way that you approached your studies and the way you just approach life and the people that surround you. When your children find true love, then the parents find true joy. And that really is the case. And a toast to the bride and groom. Cheers. Ready to fall.